What's going on everybody? Platimer Games in the house and my brother and I were fortunate enough to get to play Dragon Ball Sparking Zero today and we played for a decent chunk of time so I wanted to get to share my thoughts and opinions that I have on it so far with all of you guys. We basically hopped right into the story mode and got through most of Goku's story so I feel like I've experienced the combat enough to where I can have initial thoughts, statements and opinions that I'd like to make. Both the good and the bad so prepare for some of my opinions and spoilers although not too many big ones i think firstly i think the game for the most part looks and plays great goku and everyone he's up against in this version of the story mode seems to play very very fun and on top of that in a way that's faithful to the manga and anime with them having some of their most recognizable attacks control wise if you played a lot of buruka tekaichi 2 and 3 i feel like you'll be able to pick up the controls pretty quickly like i did but there's definitely enough changes in the gameplay to where it's definitely not mastered the additions of super perceptions revenge counters the faster game pacing the new dragon ball super characters these things all do a great job of making sparking zero feel different enough from the budoka tenkaichi games personally i still suck at the game so i'm still not in a position to be calling out possible combat errors and glitches where they could be you know just skill issues on my part but with that being said i did feel like every once in a while there were some small frame rate drops here and there but there definitely wasn't anything too serious one thing i really liked was the way that the story is laid out you go through with multiple characters and you get to play from their perspectives and each of their stories kind of like a road to wrestlemania mode but for dragon ball i also really like the concept of what if modes where you're presented with a decision and you can make a decision that doesn't necessarily match what happened in dragon ball canon and as a result it takes you to a whole other what if story for example during the android saga when piccolo gets jumped by cell in the anime gohan tries to help but goku says no we need to wait for vegeta and trunks to get out of the hyperbolic time chamber well in the game i decided to go help piccolo and it turns into goku killing cell and taking on the other androids one by one if you play Dragon Ball video games, you know most of them just, you know, take you through the main story mode again and again and again. So this definitely felt fresh. My only critique of this was I wish there was more options for making these type of decisions. Right now, it just seems like you can only really do this in certain times, which is like a once an arc for each character. But it would be really cool to see way more options. I also noticed that after I finished the what if android part that i had to go back and actually finish the canon storyline instead of being able to go to the, through the boo arc continuing this what if arc and that would have been interesting to do i would imagine that i would get really crazy don't get me wrong to have to write out all these crazy what if storylines and have to program all that stuff in and it, it can actually get really tangled and whatnot so i can definitely see where that could be a problem and i'm not too upset but still in a perfect world i think it would be fun to see another thing i really appreciated was the amount of money i earned already i have over a million zenny just by playing through the story and i was able to buy a lot of characters including ultra instinct goku and janimba just for my earnings speaking of characters i think it was super cool that a lot of them are already unlocked and the ones that aren't unlocked aren't really stuck behind ridiculous paywalls unlike a lot of other modern games that we see of course, Sparking Zero is still going to have DLCs coming in the future dropping, um, but it's such a large roster, it honestly feels like um, pretty much everyone that's important is here. One thing that I felt needed some updating was the character select screen. I'm just, I, this is just a personal opinion, but I'm just not a fan, and I feel like it could have been presented better. But that is actually, it's, it's pretty minor. And lastly, my brother has been playing online battles off off stream with some friends of his and he noticed that there wasn't really any issues in the connection and everything felt pretty smooth and between him and his friends they were having a good time so that's great to hear and i hope to see you guys in the future in a lot of these online matches and overall i think i'm having a lot of fun with dragon ball sparking zero as of right now and i definitely believe it's worth picking up and playing the combat is amazing fast paced and nostalgic while standing out enough from the past games there is tons of characters to choose from and they can seem they seem relatively easy to unlock for now i'm gonna keep playing the game on stream so we can experience it together but after i play through it thoroughly you can bet i'll do a proper review so like comment and subscribe for that and be sure to catch my streams of dragon ball sparking zero let me know what you guys think of the game so far are you liking it why or why not let me know in the comments this is plot armor games signing out and we will see you guys in the next video